All right, guys, we're going on to three point perspective drawing today. Width lines go to vanishing point one, depth lines go to vanishing point two, and the change here now is height lines are no longer perfectly vertical, they go to vanishing point three. So let's take a look at what this is gonna look like as we lay out a new drawing. So first thing I'm gonna do is always for um, kind of random self-generated drawing is draw that uh, horizontal horizon line across the top of my page. I'm gonna throw in two vanishing points on that line that we always have, one, two. And for the sake of neatness, I'm gonna come down to the middle and I'm gonna draw a line here and call it vanishing point three. Now, I'm gonna make my box in this area. So there's gonna be a couple extra lines or they might seem like extra lines at first, but they're really not. So I'm gonna come up here straight up from vanishing point three and put a dot. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's gonna be the top corner of my box that I'm making, or my, my rectangular prism, if you will. So, doesn't matter the order, I'm gonna start here and draw a very light width line, a very light depth line, and then my height line coming down to vanishing point three. Now, I know this is a little bit faint, or maybe hard to see, I'll zoom in a bit. But what I'm gonna do next is come to straight down that line. This might seem vertical for now, but that's okay. I'm gonna establish the bottom corner of my box, my rectangular prism. Same thing, I'm doing width line right, or I'm sorry, depth right now, very light. I'm doing width, very light. All right, and that's been established. Now here's where things are gonna look funny for a second. I'm gonna make the box kind of wide over here and put a point there. Now, this point is actually gonna cut through three here and up to this top edge. Now this will be easier actually on the sample drawing you guys do. But I'm gonna go ahead and come right through there down to vanishing point three. Remember, every point follows the rules. This point has to go three directions. Well, vanishing point three, it still goes to vanishing point two. Back here would be vanishing point for the width lines, but that's behind the box. We're not gonna do it just yet. Now I'm gonna make the box a little bit narrower on this side. So I'm gonna come up just about there. You can see how much farther I went down this line. I'm closer here. Same rules apply. From this point, I have to go to vanishing point one. Done. I have to go to vanishing point three. But when I do it, I've got also got to trace that line and cut it through the top edge of the box. All right. So that's starting to show up. We've established points here, 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 and here for the box, and these top two. Well, the top two are missing their last lines. Watch. This dot I made follows the rules. One, two, but it doesn't go to three. Oh, I'm sorry. One and three, it doesn't go to two. Let's line that up. Light line sketch. All right, I got it. Now you should see I'm just missing one line. Go back to this point. Two is done. Three is done. One is not. Hopefully my ruler here is long enough to make it. If not, I'll have to estimate. That looks pretty good. All right, and I got my last intersection point. Now let's go back and talk about something for one second. The reason we didn't draw this line through here is just kind of going through a solid object. So let's get some color on here and see how it's gonna look. And I trace over my real edges of my line. Hard parts are to remember when you draw these vertical lines, you've got to go all the way to that top edge. You can't just do the lower one. Bring it back. Two more. Top edge on the back. All right, so there's our, I'll zoom out a second. There's our three-point perspective of rectangular prism. 
Now, the difficult part is I think that you have to really see how kind of warped this is. Our view is no longer standing here. We're kind of looking down, almost like we're on top of a taller building, looking down on that building. Okay, so that's your three-point perspective rectangular prism.